Hey again, back with new video guys. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and Android version is 14. Here. The Poco X3 custom ROM reviews are back again. And this is latest version guys. This is the only smartphone and only uh, ROM available with March 2024 security patch. Hip hip hooray. Yes, lineage wise 21, 2024, 3, 19 is the edition. Maintainer you can check out here. Vendor security patches, however, is 1st June 2023. Baseband version you can see kernel user is 4.14.336 dark moon death death poker kernel that is also March 19 build and build date is March 19 build number you can check out on the screen and if you're still not join the whatsapp group for this particular smartphone join the group if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and if you are liking this video like the video i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos check out flashing method in the description what firmware i used let me uh, know guys uh, you people using which recovery everything let me know in the comment section and for what is the firmware is it will be given in the description and we, without wasting any time let's start the video again this rom is uh, pre-built with dolby atmos you can see that's really really cool for this kind of device and let's check out these are the quick settings toggles really really smooth as you can see and here you get the power button and advanced options and in the edit section there are some options you can check out and this is typical home screen what i can adjust here and this is the apps i have installed currently it is smooth definitely this is android 14 guys uh, and Mars security patch regarding dialer you get here as you can see direct video call feature is available and call recording is also available but it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call which is good thing here and regarding the apps you get wiper effects however we have Dolby Atmos again we can use this application also to improve your sound experience in this particular UI camera application is very much basic here as you can see it's very much basic if you want to use any gcam port that you already know which gcam you need to use let me know in the comment section guys and browser is also pre-installed here kind of this is the browser is pre-installed here and some of the other basic apps are pre-installed like music uh, settings and other panel let's go into settings here as you can see the smoothness is fine definitely it's an android 14 lineage OS guys for poco x3 it's an early release i can say but it's really really smooth uh, the experience is here the battery you can check out thermal profiles for individual app you can select for example whatsapp is kind of a social media here i'll give it dialer like that you can select them out battery saver again you get these options here no extreme battery saver charging control relations you get three different options here you can select them battery light if you want that you can enable that normal do not disturb that you can do that's cool here regarding sound and vibration again every settings has been given let me increase this media volume also do not disturb is available phone ring to media player again you get these options vibration and haptics again you get just enable or disable intensity you won't get it clear speaker option is get 12 buttons here they have haven't added and in the display again you get lock screen customizations here to dark theme again let's check that out we'll get any yeah pure black option is available and i am really thankful to this developer they have given the g apps build really really thank you for, for your support guys uh, the maintainer you have done excellent work that is my major requirement uh, in lineages that you have fulfilled i am really thanking you go ahead and make similar kind of roms i'll be supporting you that is really really good and this pure black option is again very much handy as you can see it looks great I've, once you enable and enable this you will get pitch black condition i really like it that they have kept i really liking the maintainer work he has done incredible job colors again you get three different options here live display again you get color calibration picture adjustment hue saturation intensity contrast everything you can adjust here rotation settings again refresh rate again default kept to 120 and adaptive refresh rate turn down here tap to wake if undoneable tap to sleep let's check that tap to sleep is working tap to wake is also working in some of the roms they will give but it will not going to work but here it is working and regarding sound and vibration display i have checked yeah now moving into wallpapers and style again this is the only way you can see the android 14 style uh, lock screen no that's simply missing here anyhow 
different styles hasn't loaded maybe yeah into change wallpapers again you get this lineage wallpapers here home screen again themed icons has been given app grid up to 6 into 6 is given font shape and icon you can adjust it this is how themed icons looks like in the home screen for supported apps only and we'll continue the settings here security and privacy only you get fingerprint unlock here no app lock as of now and no finger sorry face unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock it's fast and accurate to unlock your smartphone using that really really good i can say one of the fastest in android 14 once you flash the rom you'll come to understand that and moving into other settings like uh, location google maps everything is working fine use assisted gps it might drain battery just turn it off when However, there is no use digital well-being and parental controls that looks fine here into system there are some customizations you also get updater option some people like this kind of features but i recommend to use the uh, recovery for flashing clean method is always recommended system icons again you can select from here clock position left right or left and shows again sort of battery status style and some settings are given here uh, system profiles again given keyboard controls and button controls has been given let me check that uh, gesture settings actually and accessibility menu that remains same no need to worry regarding that let me search into settings here gestures yeah into system only it is available anyhow gestures into navigation mode gesture navigation there is no option to increase the gesture bar length that they could add in the next upcoming build that's my requirement for this particular room overall it's a great room as of now the stability in the ui is really really smooth once you start using that you will coming into understand that this room is really really smooth for poco x slash nfc let's see some results what i got here into recent yeah the first and foremost thing is you get this option while flashing i mean while setup thing the device just don't turn it on again it will revert back to lineage os recovery keep in mind guys and if you don't watch full video you will not coming to get this uh, ideas here looking for drm info it's not available here in this particular rom and this one already installed anyhow this is the geekbench score what i got 754 is a single score 1840 it is a multi-score and there was 14 links 4.1 4.366 dark moon death poker kernel very good score and 3 lakhs 80,685 temperature this was 6.5 degrees Celsius, 4 degrees Celsius. sorry 4 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of anti to benchmark is and uh, safety and status test cts profile match getting failed hence you need to manually pass that that's the one more bug here i want to show you that play store is not certified here because of that cts profile match you need to manually flash using magics models and this is the rewrite speed test with numbers and this is with graph yeah and this is the charging rapidly test it is getting fast charging support really really good this rom is i really like it let's see the bgm and wind up this video And good thing is guys, best gaming ROM has been back here. Yes, after testing it for several minutes, I came in to understand. Here you get 90 FPS support, that's fine. But how it handle in the game is really, really good. Got stable here, performance. Once you start downloading all the uh, required resources, it is really stable. Yeah, that was a mess. Anyhow, the gaming experience is next level here. Once you start using it, you will come in to understand. If you have magic models and all, you can even get better experience here.
actually I turned kind of gyroscope is turned on I don't know That was the gaming experience here. I really like it guys and overall experience of the UI is also really really good. If you want to use it as a daily trial, go ahead and flash this ROM. It's really really smooth and gaming experience is also really good. Just you need to download all the resources and everything will be fine and the initial uh, build is really really good. I was surprised using this particular ROM. In fact, it's a very good performing ROM and battery efficient ROM also. You can check out while the start of the video how is the battery percent and currently what is the battery percent and what is the time you can check out there and this this is sampath guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now